547. Clay Fire Territory works hard educating the public on different topics every month, and this month their focus is on child proofing your home. So if you have a child at home, listen up. News Center 16's Christine Carson joins us now live from the Clay Fire Command Training Center in St. Joseph County this morning. Good morning, Christine. Good morning, Trisha. Yeah, childproofing your home is so important. Get this, each year 8,000 families lose a child due to a preventable injury. So we're going over some tips for you that are easy changes in your home to make sure your kids are safe. Fire Marshal Dave Schroen's here with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. So this looks familiar. I, I can identify this, but this is so important. Sure. You know, some of the things we're going to talk about obviously are going to cost some money. The others are just going to cost some time and you to change how you're doing things or where you're putting things. The most important thing, of course, is making sure that you have smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors throughout the home, not only for children, but to make it safe for everyone else. Wherever you have medications, keep those in their original containers and keep them up high out of the child's reach. Probably the one place that we don't think about is you know, that science lab that's located under the kitchen sink. Real simply, there's some very inexpensive devices that can go on the latches to keep them secure and move them so that no one can get in there. But you can also just do something real simple, move them to a higher location. The idea is if you keep them out of sight and out of reach, then they're going to be out of mind. Yeah, and it, are there any maybe chemicals that you would recommend, not to put you on the spot, that are possibly kid, kid safe? Or th at this point, there really aren't any chemicals that are kid safe. Right, because they're chemicals. And the one thing you need to keep in mind is that uh, medications come under the packaging act of where they have to be child safe, right. but household chemicals and cleaners do not. So they're very simple for them to squeeze spray bottles and get them on them, open containers. So keep that in mind that whatever you might think is safe or hard to open, they can figure it out. Yeah, great suggestions this morning. Trisha, this is only obviously one area of your home. Coming up, we're going to go to the other area that is your living room, your dining room. Those have some areas, again, easy tips that you can fix to make sure your kids are safe. I was asking some people on Facebook on my page to search Christine Carson, WNDU. I said, what do you guys do? Any suggestions if you have kids at home? One person, it was kind of funny, he said, well, I always kept the chemicals in the basement and uh, told my kids there were scary monsters down there so they didn't go down there they were saying even at their adult ages they're still a little wary of the basement but at least they're thinking about it knowing that this is something they need to do and are taking the proper precautions to do so because very scary down there even for adults too <laughs> well it's very important to get this information out thanks for the ideas christine karsten reporting live this morning thank you